Good morning, everyone. Mr. Brandt here with another drawing of the day. Um, I thought today we would do kind of a drawing um, along with some art history. And so in kindergarten, one of the artists that we study, so a lot of uh, the people watching these videos have, have looked at this and, and done this, but it's always a great project to do at any time because you can be really creative with it. Um, we're going to look at the painting called Starry Night. Um, here is a picture of Starry Night, some beautiful colors, um, just an amazing painting, one of the most famous paintings uh, out there. And it was done by an artist named Vincent Van Gogh. Now, he lived, he was born in 1853 and died in 1890, so that was a very, very long time ago. Um, we're going to look at doing a version of Starry Night, and then we're going to let you go off and be really creative in it. So, to get started on Starry Night, we're going to take our paper, and what I want to do with the paper is we're going to start with it horizontal, and we're going to start today with just at the very bottom, we're just going to draw a little ground line. And again, some people like to go off and do some other things as we go. Now, one of the things that Starry Night has is, I call it kind of, it looks like to me fire or a flame bush or tree. Or some people even have said it looks like a castle or uh, a tree or a mountain. or a, There's so many versions of what you think it might be. I always think it looks like a flame bush, um, like a some kind of growth that looks like fire, but it's the silhouette of it. So what we're gonna start with is just making up your own. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna just kind of come up, come down. There's no right or wrong to this. I'm just going up and coming down all the way. There we go. So now I've made kind of a little, what I call a little flame tree. Once I've done that, now I'm going to go across the bottom and do some little houses uh, because in Starry Night there is kind of a town and houses down there. So you can do them any way you want. Uh, one way to do it is just very simply draw a little square, put a little triangle on top of it, add a little door, add a window, add whatever you want to it. If you want to make it a little more three-dimensional, you can go like this. Start with the triangle first, draw two lines down like this, and then you draw one line over, one line over, do an angle line, and a line down. And you can make more of a three-dimensional house. I'll do that one again. So I come over here and I'm going to draw a triangle shape at the top, two lines straight down, a little door and then I go straight out from the roof here straight out here and then I want to do an angle line here and then the line there and maybe I have one going off the the page you don't have to add that last one but maybe there's one there now another thing that's in the starry night there's kind of a church with a steeple um, if you look you can kind of see it way down there. There's a little church with a steeple there. So either I can add another one behind it, or I could just add to this building, this little steeple. You don't have to add it. That's up to you. Um, whatever you want to do. Now, on Starry Night, they have these rolling hills. So what I'm going to do is start over here, and I'm going to draw a little rolling hill until it's behind there. And then I like to kind of do this rolling just when I come and I hit the house I stop I'm just gonna put whatever kind of rolling mountains or hills or whatever I want maybe I want some overlapping so I'm gonna add some more right in there now in Starry Night Vincent Van Gogh he had a moon up here um, and he did some really brilliant colors around it so what I'm gonna do is just draw a moon shape. You can draw anything. You can draw a circle for the moon. You can draw whatever you want. And then in Starry Night, his stars are not the typical stars, although you could draw them that way if you want. 
but he showed a lot of colors and wind lines and texture lines that, that really made his painting pop. But his stars are kind of just circular with a lot of bright colors around it. So we're going to go in and just randomly in the sky, I'm going to draw some stars. Now, if you want to, go ahead. Draw your stars like this. You can do anything you want there. Okay? So I'm going to just kind of put stars around just like this. Now, that's the basic drawing of Starry Night, the parts in before you start putting color and designs and different things in your uh, Starry Night to make it your own. Now, I might say to myself, you know what? I think I'm going to add some little things to it. So maybe on this little flame bush, maybe I'm going to draw a little person. I'm just going to keep him really cute. Just a real simple little person with some hair. And maybe he's peeking from behind. Just like that. Maybe he's peeking from behind that flame bush. But, you know, you could do whatever you want to add. I've seen people put spaceships in the sky and airplanes and all of those things. But now, I want to go in and do some color. Um, some really cool things to do is use your markers or your crayons. But I can go in and say, you know what? I'm going to do some lines that look like wind. And so I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to just kind of do this. And I'll tell you what, if you take it and take different colors and do kind of like the lawnmower effect and draw all kinds of wind lines and different lines that you want to put in to, to kind of create that look of starry night. Uh, maybe some wind lines are coming here. Maybe there's a wind line coming here. And I could draw all kinds of beautiful colors and wind. Uh, maybe on that flame bush, there's some texture if you really look. I might go in and draw with my black marker or any color marker, some texture lines like this. Put that in. And then what's really cool is to go back when you're done with coloring with the markers and drawing your lines with markers, you could go in and say to yourself, you know what, in the sky, I'm gonna lightly color the white part with a sky color. And it kind of takes away all that white, but you can still see the wind lines. That's kind of a, a cool effect that you can do. Um, same with your tree that you did, the flame bush of the tree. If you drew those texture lines, now I take like a black crayon and I lightly color it in and I go to color, but I still see those, those really cool texture lines that I created. Um, some people like to do it with um, watercolor paint, other kinds of things. I want you to just explore and have some fun with it and create your own starry night. Um, use that draw or that painting of Vincent Van Gogh as your inspiration. But then I want you to stem off and do what you think would be a really cool uh, painting or drawing or coloring of the Starry Night done by Vincent Van Gogh. So I hope you enjoyed the art history part of it. Um, and again, have a great day and art is essential.